Hey guys, Jay here um, with what I would call um, a major unpackaging. Um, got Mr. Fett here in attendance. He's waiting for me to get this thing started. So, without further ado, I've already um, cut them open. So, let's take a look. So I got my GRPs, and, and I threw in some stickers, nice. So there they are, my GRPs. Um, one of the one of the things I needed um, to get my speed runs going. And um, as you can see, they're fluorescent yellow, which is perfect because that way there, when my car veers off into the woods, I'll be able to find the car, no problem. <laughs> um, hopefully that won't happen, but um, this is the body I'll be running. So it's very, um, it's very dark in color. It's actually black with um, this, oh, there you can see it, all right, purple on the sides. And I did some purple stripes, you know. This was the first body I ever painted. I really liked it. Um, but the car's gotten a little beaten up. I think it's pretty aerodynamic. Um, cut some holes there. So, um, so yeah, that's my going to be my speed run body. And with these tires, um, you know, that should stick out like a sore thumb. Um, and so I will go on to my next package. Shout out to Mr. Boba Fett. Okay. So I ended up getting the 17 millimeter adapters and I went with STRC. I liked the look a little bit better than the Traxxas. And uh got the blue because of uh, my blue theme um, with my Rustler. So I am actually um, one pot away from at least almost pulling the trigger. Um, the last piece I need is uh, I want to get a T-bone uh, rear bumper. Um, so that I won't be ordering till the weekend. I'll wait till I get my next paycheck. And um, I think the hottest part, I'm still a ways away. I mean, this weekend I'll be dialing in the car, uh, checking the front end, you know, the rear tires and all that stuff, and lock tighting and uh, checking all that stuff out. I might do a, a small run, nothing really too speedy, but just, uh, you know, shake off the cobwebs, um, see if there's any, you know, improvements I need to make um, but nothing like a speed run just uh, on a two cell just to see what it's like um, probably the hardest part for me um, not saying that this the actual speed run won't be hard because um, I think my most top speed has been 50 miles an hour and that was in my slash but um, I think the hardest part for me will be finding a road um, I live in Rhode Island and Rhode Island is the smallest state in the Union and it also has the worst roads in the Union uh, it's just really bad here I mean lots of dips lots of potholes I mean some of the potholes are so big that uh, you hit one and your car gets swallowed up <laughs> I mean they're pretty bad um, so and I mean other issues is be, because it's a small state you know peep some people are nosy I mean I you know um, there's a road actually there's a nice road down the end of the street where I live but it's very close to the police station, so I can't pull the trigger there. I mean, all it's going to do is take one cop coming around the corner, and he's going to say, oh, you can't do that here. Um, so that's probably going to be um, the hardest thing for me is trying to find a road, and I haven't even come close yet. Um, it's just the road conditions here are really, really bad. Um, you know, it's it's either too many potholes or too many dips or it's on an incline or it's on a decline. And so it's it's going to be hard, but um, 
kind of excited. Um, probably don't hear it in my voice because I'm actually a little nervous too because, um, you know, my wife bought me the Rustler. It's got a lot of uh, sentimental value and I've seen a lot of crashes and so I'm trying to prepare for, um, you know, the worst. And I'm trying to take in and learn from other people's mistakes. What did they do wrong and stuff like that. And like I said, the car has a lot of sentimental value to me. I mean, sure, I can get into the chassis, but I'd like to keep the chassis that came with the original car. Um, I've got RPM AOM, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, and pretty much the rest of the car is all RPM'd out. But um, just worried about stuff like that. So I've been watching a lot of videos and, um, you know, just... Uh, just paying attention to uh, the pitfalls that uh, this has and uh, hopefully I'll have a good turnout but I'm still I'd say I'm still after even if I get uh, I'll get the bumper next week but I'm still quite a ways from um, pulling the trigger because I, I don't want to rush this it's June um, still got some good weather all the way up until August maybe even September but I don't want to go that far in um, I'd like to get it done you know, somewhere in between July or August. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to keep scouting and scouting for a road. And uh, I know I'll find one. It's just going to be a little daunting at first. So, I guess that's about it for this unboxing or unpackaging. So, uh, I guess that's it. Uh, take care, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.